And we breathe out slowly a couple of times. And we start by relaxing our eyes first. When we relax our eyes, we allow the muscles around our eyes to completely relax, to become more soft. We relax the muscles between our eyes in the junction between our eyes And when we relax all the muscles in this area, we might find that our eyelids are becoming softer. And they will slightly open up. They will slightly be slightly opened just like an infant which is falling asleep and the eyes will not be firmly closed but slightly open. And then we relax ourselves physically. You can feel that from our eyes to the rest of our body there is a flow of relaxation, comfort, and ease. And we do not actually have to do much to relax. It will just happen naturally. forehead, our face, relax our neck and shoulders. We relax. We feel the flow of relaxation, permeating our entire body. Torso, our arms, and our legs. Once we have relaxed our body, we will notice that we feel no longer constrained by it. It's not much of a concern anymore. We can let go of our body but we will still be in the here and now.
And if there is any tension left in your muscles or in other systems of your body, we just allow that to be. And when the mind is becoming more at ease, the body will relax at a deeper level by nature. Once we have been able to let go of our body, we allow our mind to relax as well. The way we will find relaxation is and well-being is by simply being still, not moving the mind at all. We have many thoughts and feelings that go through our mind normally. But for now, we simply allow everything to be. We do not respond. We do not react to any of those thoughts, whether they are painful or stressful or whether they are pleasant, like a pleasant memory. We do not respond to anything, whatever direction we are pulled in, whatever direction we are pulled toward, we just allow it to be. Just like the clouds in the sky, which simply come and go without us having to do anything with the clouds in the sky. We don't need to do anything because it's much more happy and comfortable to simply be still. Sometimes our mind can become a bit fuzzy. We want to be more comfortable more relaxed than we are now. 
And so we start to struggle, to search, to seek for more relaxation, for more well-being. But all of that is simply putting our mind into movement again. We are not going to do that. We simply are aware of whatever relaxation, whatever stillness there already is. And there's always some comfort, relaxation, or stillness of mind. It just may not be the level that you want, but we do not need to push, to search or struggle. We simply are in the present moment. We are with whatever is happening right now. We are simply aware without responding. When we are happy with whatever is happening now, relaxation, comfort and ease will naturally grow without us having to search for it. We are so used to complex, activities that it takes a while before we are used to something very simple in the here and now Whatever is happening inside of us, we are simply aware and we accept it. Accepting it means just to allow it to be without trying to change anything. When we are practicing like this for a while, we will find that our thoughts become slower. Our breathing also slows down. When our thoughts become slower, our breathing slows down. We 
we start to feel like we don't need to do anything at all. We don't need to go anywhere. And when our thoughts become less, as a result, we feel our mind is left empty. An emptiness that feels good. And that emptiness becomes bigger after a while. Once we have been able to find more inner happiness, well-being and peace, 
we feel at ease to just be in the present moment. We relax and breathe in deeply once more. Breathing in deeply, we notice where our breath ends. When our breath is going inside, through our nose, through our throat, through our lungs, through our lungs, and we can feel the movement all the way into our belly, our abdomen. Just inside our abdomen, we can feel a place. And this place at the end of our breath is what we call the center space or the center of the body. The center space is just there. We might not be aware of it all the time, but right now we simply confirm the existence of the center space within. We do not need to do anything more than that. We simply confirm the existence of the center space within. At the end of our in-breath, we might not be able to feel that, but we will be aware of it. Once we are aware of this, we can reconfirm the existence of the center space as often as we like. Whenever we are distracted, we can return to the center space within. Whatever we are thinking about whatever about whomsoever, wherever, it's all part of the show. And we simply become aware of it. And then if we feel distracted, we simply reconfirm the center space. And the only thing we need to do now is to simply wait. We wait in the here and now. 
we do not need to do much then simply wait in the here and now we do not know what we are waiting for we simply feel at ease waiting and being in the present moment. We wait together. We are not in a rush.
once we are able to reconfirm the existence of the center space within, we will notice that the awareness, the awareness within is very soft and very subtle, just like a feather which is falling downward, gravitating toward the water surface of the water. And then the feather lands on the surface of the water. And when it lands on the surface of the water, the water doesn't move at all. It doesn't move at all. The water simply stays still. In the same way, the awareness of the center space is very soft and very subtle. And the more we are becoming acquainted with the center space, we become familiar with the center space. Our mind becomes more refined. Our mind becomes more subtle. This refinement, this energy gradually grows, whereas our mind becomes more empty. At the same time, we also feel that sense of refinement within. And it may sometimes happen that we feel as though we are falling down or we feel as though we are rising up. Sometimes we might have the feeling that there are images very clear, images that we were not familiar with, which seem to rise from our inner subconscious. Those images may be anything at all, but they sometimes might be slightly shocking because they are very clear. For example, we might see people or places, but in fact, all of this doesn't have any much meaning yet. It is simply an indication that our mind becomes very deeply relaxed. But we do not need to worry or read too much into these experiences. They simply pass by, they arise and then they go. It's not something we should concern ourselves with too much. But it's okay, it's not something to 
reject, but we also don't need to be shocked by it. For example, if you feel that your mind becomes more soft, more subtle, and then you, it's like you are floating. This is simply an experience. It's not the goal of meditation. It's some, simply something that might happen. And it's an indication that we are at ease. And then we do not need to open our eyes. We simply are aware of the experience as it happens. When we are meditating like this, before we finish the meditation, we will take some time to share the inner well being with the people around us in the world. The people who we know and the people who we do not know. We might be aware of the inner softness and well being that we now experience and we allow this feeling we allow it to gradually expand we might feel that this energy that we feel the peace the comfort the well-being we would like to share it with the world, with our fellow human beings. We share it with everyone around us, whoever we know and the people we do not know, the people who we like and the people we don't like. Everyone around us, we allow this inner happiness, well-being in meditation to expand outward. Just like a bubble that expands from our mind and goes in all directions and then simply fades away. Everyone around us may be happy, may be free from suffering, Whoever, where, who, and everywhere around us. Even the animals, the mammals, the fish, and all the other animals in the world, 
May all, all the people and animals in the world be happy, be free from suffering. All living beings in all directions may all be able to take part in the happiness of meditation. When we practice like this, it will help us to be more at ease and for our mind to become more stable. We call this kind of meditation, loving kindness meditation, and we share it with everyone. Then we gradually come to the end of the meditation. We gradually return to our senses. We can hear the sound, for example, the sound of the heater around us, or the sound of the cars driving on the highway. We can feel the seat on which we are sitting and our hands which are resting on our lap. We can feel the temperature in this room. Whatever we feel, we gradually come back to our senses. And just before we open our eyes, we remind ourselves that we can go back to the center space within whenever we like, wherever we like. Whenever we feel stress or otherwise we like to go back to the center space, we simply remind ourselves very softly and gently of the center space within. Then we gradually open our eyes and we will notice that we just look at the world with slightly different eyes.